I still use my AirPods Pro to this day, every single day and it never leaves my side. But recently, I've been having this buzzing problem that's become way too unbearable for me. It turns out that the problem is lying within the noise cancellation and transparency feature that the pros have. I'm not sure how to fix it and I've tried looking it up but found nothing of no avail. And so I'm here asking myself the age old question. Is the AirPods Pro worth it in 2022? Before we go on, please hit the like button if you haven't already. Thank you. Well, I already have a new unopened pair here, so you probably already know what the answer is. These are tech that I'm extremely dependent on nowadays, and they help me get through the day. I use them when I'm editing my YouTube videos, when I'm watching my favorite shows, movies, anime, working out, listening to an audiobook or podcast, literally anything that involves me consuming media with the ears. If you know me and watch my other YouTube videos, you know that I'm not very into headphones. They feel uncomfortable for me to use after an hour or two, and the only time I'd really wear them would be on a long airplane flight where I would need more than a few hours of battery life that the AirPods Pro have. But for any other occasion or scenario, the AirPods Pro are unbeatable in my opinion. I'm very deep into the Apple ecosystem, and being able to effortlessly switch in between my iPhone, iPad, and MacBook without having to pair again is super useful. Why didn't I go with the AirPods third generation? It's actually because I've had this new pair for quite a while now, before the newest gen AirPods even came out. They've just been sitting ever since, and I've been waiting for my current pair to die until I open this one. And I think now is the time. The buzzing has gotten so annoying that it overpowers anything that I'm listening to, and it also buzzes whenever I talk. It's only been happening to the left one which is weird, but for some reason, the right one always dies first. The battery life is still pretty good, but I noticed that it wasn't as great as when I first got them, which is understandable. I've had these for over two years now, and they've had a great run. So another question I could bring up is, if I didn't purchase the Pros a while ago and could choose between this and the third gen AirPods, which would I go for? Well, I do like the idea of having no ear tips on the third generation, but you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm completely happy with another pair of AirPods Pro. I absolutely love the transparency feature. It's so good that I always forget that I have AirPods on, which is not always a good thing, but it's amazing to think about. I've only had to replace my ear tips a couple of times over the past couple of years anyways, so it's not too bad. I'm still going to keep the same carrying case. As you can see, it's a little worn, but it still functions as it should. I like this case so much because it has a carabiner, wrist strap, and a cover for the charging port. It also gives the AirPods Pro a deeper snap when closing the case, which is more satisfying in my ears. The most important part is that it protects the case from drops and scratches, as well as minor things like dust. It's not too bulky, but it is definitely worth the extra thickness. So yes, if you haven't noticed already, AirPods Pro are still more than worth it in 2022. I'm not sure if they're going to release a new generation of AirPods again this year, but until then, I'm more than happy with the sound quality, convenience, and portability that the AirPods Pro provides. I'll leave links in the description if you're interested in purchasing a pair along with the case that I use. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.